FM 104. Dublin's hit music station. Hello, I'm Sean Williamson. I'm Misha Paris. And you're watching FM 104's Behind the Scenes. Dublin's hit music station. Yeah. This is the last week. This is the last week. We're finishing in Dublin, which we're very excited about. What a great city to finish in. Yeah. The theatre's lovely, isn't it? Oh my God, it's a beautiful theatre and, you know... Opening well, night? Oh my gosh, opening night stand innovation, which was fantastic for us. And uh, we're getting a lot of love in Dublin, got to tell you. No, it's actually really nice because it's not a huge company. You know, it's what, 30, 20? Uh, I suppose that the, the, the total people in, in the production is about 40. Um, yeah, but, but, but on stage, stage 22? 22. So, you know, we're usually all together and they're brilliant. They're re a lot of them are really young and fresh, which is great. And I love being with young people, so it's like it's lovely. So it's nice because, you know, they look to us for leadership, don't they? It's yeah, nice, they, they? they don't they get think, it. They think we know what we're talking yeah, about. they don't get it. It's all about flagging it. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. I was in it for 10 years, and by the time I finished at 40, there's a quarter of my life I'd spent in it. You know? and, and, uh, uh, I, I was sick of the, of the leather jacket by the end of it. I was always in a leather jacket, Barry. And I just wanted, wanted to burn it. Uh, um, so no, I, would, I wouldn't, even if I wasn't dead, I wouldn't want to go back, because I did 10 years, this is a backward step. It's a long know? time. Uh, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not sniffy about anything. I'll go on another soap, it wouldn't bother me in the slightest, but I've had my EastEnders years, I think. I think, I think it's a hell of a thing to pull off. Uh, 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 I don't think it's doing the actors much of a favour, really, because, you know, you, you only need to get someone who fluffs a line a little bit and they just get pilloried in the press the next day. I think it's incredibly unfair. But it's an incredible achievement for them to be able to pull it off. It really is a, quite a feat of, of um, you know, technical and artistic, uh, uh, you know, uh, skill. Really. I think anything live TV, live radio is always dodgy. It's terrifying. <laughs> I mean, you know something's going to... It's a disaster waiting to happen, isn't it? But the, the great thing about theatre is, what I love about theatre is once that curtain goes up, it doesn't matter if the set falls down, you know, you've just got to get on with you've it. It opens going. at 7.30, you're in the pub at 10 o'clock. Mm. That's my sort of medium. <laughs> Whereas, obviously, in TV, uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of resetting, retaking, sure. and it can get very frustrating and, yeah. and can be very dull. Uh, it, it can be moments of sheer terror and pleasure, but most of the day is uh, waiting around and waiting for your big moment. And sometimes you're getting ready to cry, particularly as a, as a man, mm. you know, and, and um, sometimes there's a break and they'll say, well, we won't get to that until after lunch now, and then you really go off the boil. <laughs> and you've got to build up to it again, so yeah, there's a lot. something a bit cranky going on in there, you know, to, to, to... There's nothing like a live audience, bottom line. You've got an interaction, it makes yeah. you perform better, That's you feel right. the audience that they need to feel something, and it pushes you to give your best to them, and it's a wonderful thing. Can't really beat that. FM 104. Dublin's hit music station.